here you are, the catfish noodling expert of Alabama. We can catch some catfish. We basically go in, catch them with our hands. We go out and we look for the holes where they have dug out under a rock, stump, a concrete boat ramp. I mean, that is their home. So when we go in and catch the fish, it's going to come give a vicious bite. So nobody's ever died from doing this, have they? Actually, there's been a few people die from it. It can you're, be dangerous. You're kidding me. People have died catfish noodling? I'm not really sure about Francis being a successful noodler. I'm not sure he has what it takes. He's kind of a city boy. Somebody can get stuck in a hole. A catfish grab a hold of him and keep him in the hole. That's why you got to have somebody with you to help you out. Ugh, that, uh, you're not instilling very much confidence in me, I have to say. Broken fingers, missing fingers, drowning even, because I'm going to be in there in the muck. That's a lot to be concerned about. All right, after you. <laughs> there is a fish in there. Get her hand in front of the fish's mouth. Okay. When it sees your hand, it will bite you. Do it before Let's I change my mind already. Come on. <laughs> it will chomp down on you. It will hurt. I'm not in there diving in crystal clear water. I'm sticking my hand in a murky mud hole and have no clue what's on the other side. It's a bit nerve wracking. Is that your hand or is that? That's not my hand. All right, now or never, right? Now or never. We got to do this. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. Next thing I know, <laughs> I felt like a sledgehammer crushed my hand. No, oh, it's got me. 